This screencast is based on Module 5, Lesson 2, where we talk about finding the volume of rectangular prisms by packing with unit cubes. Well, we're not going to do that on our homework, but the ideas that have been established in class should help you with this. Let's go over a few problems. Okay, this is from the practice set, and it asks us to find the volume or how many unit cubes will fit in each of these shapes. Let's take a look at B. If we look at the bottom part, which is shaded, that is going to be the base. So if we were to put cubes here, we'd have to put two by four cubes for a total of eight. If we look at each of these flaps, okay, these would fold up. And they would form a box with an open top. And we can see that it is too high, right? So we can see that we have two. So we have our base, that's going to be the layer one here, okay? And then we need to stack another layer on top of that, and that would fill the second layer here. So what do we have? Well, we have a base of eight, and then we have two layers. So the ground floor is eight, we have two floors. So we have 16 cubes. Let's look at the next example. This time, we look at our base, and we'd have to have 4 by 4 or 16 cubes on the bottom. So every layer is 16 cubes. If we look at the flaps, again, these would fold up. I'm just going to highlight one of them. And our first layer of cubes is going to be right there. We're going to need two more layers. So we have three layers of 16. Well, we can do some simple multiplication there, can't we? So if each layer is 16, we have three of them. We have 3 times 16, regroup, we get 48. So there's 48 cubes. We're going to come back to these uh, same shapes later in this presentation to help you with one of the problems in the homework. Okay, this one they have us kind of imagine this is it's like those other shapes except they're all put together now so what do we have here well on the bottom we have uh, two by four so if we had made another one of those shapes like we had on the previous slide here the bottom would look like this now the side flaps go up too so we would have something that looks like this And you can see that that's a very familiar looking. Again, so what do we have? We have a base of four. We have two layers high. So uh, we can predict, well, uh, that's uh, what our prediction is. And of course, this is from the problem set. We'd actually fill the shape with cubes. And uh, we can't do that on our homework. So we have, once again, 16 and 16. Let's go down to the next one. If we look at the base, we have 5 by 2. So if I were to uh, draw that, I would have a base of 5 by 2. Okay, and it's going to go up a lot higher this time. I, can't, I don't really have the space to draw it, but the flaps would go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So what do we have? We have a base of 10. We have four layers of 10, so we end up with 40. Okay, let's go to that final slide where we revisit the previous one. Now, in your homework, there's a problem asking you to find, uh, draw some uh, shapes similar to these that uh, would contain the same number of cubes. And if we recall from the previous or the first slide, that had 16 cubes. So how else could I do that? Well, let's think about that. We have a base of 8. And then we have these flaps that go up too. Well, there's not a lot of options here, but I could, for example, have a base that had 8. 
and then I could have flaps that go up to and so on and if we pack that we'd end up with 16 cubes alright let's look at the next one that's a little bit more interesting I have 16 on the bottom and as I recall that was a total of 48 there's all kinds of ways we can do 48 I could do it this way I could uh, make a base of 12 and that could go up four layers and the final set of flaps again would be I'm a little out of space here but I'd have to have four layers okay that's just uh, a quick sketch to give you some more ideas here. So whatever you have, you have to make it so that we have a base layer and a number of layers above that base to make a total of 48. So we had 16 as the base in the original one. I had 12 in the base. Uh, you could use 24 in a base, right? Because then two layers of 24. This would be four layers, this would be three layers, this would be two. Uh, we could use other numbers as well. I could use eight as my base and I'd need six layers. So this gives you a quick idea what to do. I remember my kids had a hard time with this last year with homework and I hope this makes it a little bit clearer for you.